There are fingerprints of love all over this place, and we really haven't gotten started yet. In our case, we are going to use the word hesed. Everybody wants to know, what does hesed mean? Um, and so hesed describes uh, what it means for this many people to gather around a vision like this and lay literal hands upon it. Hesed is a Hebrew word that is often used in the Bible to describe the always pursuing, never give up on you, everlasting love of God. In translations of some text, it might even replace words like loving kindness, or mercy, or grace, um, to give you an idea of, of what that means in this place. We've named this place Hesed because it is the best word we can find to describe what we want to do here. We want to make room for those who have experienced a catastrophic loss of relationship that led them to the streets. We want to give first chances and second chances or 490 chances to those who would otherwise sleep outside. We want to be a gathering of people who share in one another's sufferings and rejoice in one another's celebrations. When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend. the rooms that you see, those will belong to the people who move into them, besides the furniture. Uh, the household items, the, the, the decorations um, that you see, we're giving that to them. And they get to take that with them when they move uh, into, into housing. And the churches and community members that come around that will replenish and replace for the next person um, who comes behind them. And we do that because we want to send the message to everyone who comes through here, you are worthy, you are loved, and you are a precious child of God. Amen. We want to cultivate purpose. Everyone here pays rent, be it in cash or be it in sweat equity. If they don't have the money, there's things that they can do to help around here to make uh, this place work. And I gotta tell you, there are a couple people who've already moved in here and I have had so much joy seeing some of our folks who oftentimes would be written off as people who didn't have a lot to offer, getting joy out of watering the plants and helping Kyra move things and set up the rooms. And there's some ownership that's being created around this place and in the lives of the people who are here and will come through here. We want to launch people well. Whenever, you know, there is a deployment, I think, I've been thinking about this a lot as to what this means to our street population. Whenever there's a deployment of any human to a traumatic place, whether it's a war zone or a mission field, or a, we could probably come up with other examples, there's a preparation and a transition back. And we don't get to do that with trauma. The trauma of our everyday lives. Homelessness, we forget sometimes, is a trauma. And often on top of many other traumas. So when we scoop people up from a camp and drop them into a new apartment, we miss an opportunity sometimes to let them take a breath, to know that they are safe, that they are survivors, but they don't have to live that way anymore. It is justice when a small group of churches decides we can offer greater care for neighbor together than we could ever do apart. And our learnings that began with helping people survive on the street morph into a continuum of compassion that cares for the whole person. It is mercy, hesed, that a landlord would not give up on us or our people because a house fire destroyed his place that it would inspire more than any of us could ask or imagine the always pursuing relentless love of God 
that you stand in the presence of. We are humbled to think in spite of the big vision we have for Jeremiah community, where our neighbors are one day going to live affordably, have purpose and meaningful relationships. We are humbled that God would still work through all of you all to keep filling the cracks in our world, giving us a place to transition our friends, to begin practicing what it means to be community, to be a prophetic witness that there is no place or space that is out of sight or mind of God's endless love. I'm convinced that we are building the kingdom of God in Fredericksburg, just as it is in heaven. And I just want to thank you so very much for your chesed and for being a part of it. <laughs>